no sci-fi hard surface piece is complete without some type of emissive light. So that's what we're going to do in this video. First, we need to enable our emissive channel. We can do this by going to the texture set settings, adding a new channel and choosing emissive. We'll do the same process, create a folder, name it lights, add our fill. And now you'll notice that this fill layer has an extra channel called emissive. Let's isolate it by alt clicking and see what it does. Basically any area this is active will receive no lighting information, thus giving us the impression that it's emitting light. Instead of visualizing the color within Painter, we're actually going to add the color back by a shader in Eevee. So for now, we'll just pick a full valley of white, add our black mask, and give it a good name. Now depending on the type of light you want to create, I'm specifically going to choose the shape square squeeze alpha and lower the hardness value to zero. When doing these, you generally want a wide range in the white to black value. That way, when we colorize it, it'll get a hot white center. Anyways, let's just see if this thing works when we set the shader up. So even the lights, I'll use the black mask method and just stamp in where I want them to go. For this middle section here, I'm just gonna hit four and use our quad selection just to mask out some of the inner parts of the circle. Now we'll export this again. Now let's get this set up in Blender. We'll make a little bit of room down here. I'll press Shift A and search for image texture. And we'll just load the emissive texture that we just exported. I'll also add an emission shader. So what we're doing here is mixing our current shader, which is what we're viewing now, with this fully emissive one. And we'll use that emissive texture that we just exported to mask between the two of them. We can do this easily by adding a mix shader. Hook up the standard material to the top and the emission to the bottom, the mix shader into the material output, and the input texture into the fraction. Now we want the glows to have a hotter look to them, so we can just crank up the emission amount. If you push it far enough, you'll get a white center happening. So feel free to tune the color and the amount. Now lastly, of course, we gotta enable the bloom to really boost the effect. So it takes some time to play around with the colors and the strength of something that you like. So let's tire this whole piece together by adding some subtle dust and wear to the object in the next video.